Last week, the children said the poem, Mary had a little lamb, a little toast, a little jam, as you can see on this poster. We started with a very easy activity, which is simply saying the poem, and I got them to say the poem with some vocal inflection, so it's not, Mary had a little lamb, a little toast, but trying to get them into Mary had a little lamb, a little toast, a little jam. There are some important words throughout the poem, and they happen to be the nouns, what Mary had. She had lamb, toast, jam, pizza, chocolate, cake. Now, I am this week, I am going to have the children clap these words that are important. And we could do a, 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 a language arts lesson as well by having the children highlight these certain words or telling me what they are, that we have an adjective and the noun. So anyway, we're going to have them say, or I'm going to have them say the words, and we're going to clap all the words that are in black. So we have Mary had a little lamb, a little toast, a little jam, a pizza, and a little cake, some french fries, and a chocolate shake, a little burger on a bun. That's why Mary weighs a ton. And I think they may have, and that's why, but it doesn't really matter. Here. One more time, I'm going to clap only the syllables, so that's going to be rhythm. So we clap the rhythm a couple times, and hopefully we'll be able to take the words out this next time. So it would be, Mary had a, 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 and a, some, and a, a, on a, that's why Mary, and so you have to keep your wits about you when you do this. So practicing is very important. Practice things before the children get here. So hopefully they can keep these things in their head and switch back and forth. That's sort of internal hearing. It helps children keep rhythms in their head that eventually they will need the, the sight read from printed notation. That's where it leads. So I have the children clap and say everything at the same time, and then I have them clap just the words that I want to highlight. Then I'm going to transfer that to body percussion, different body percussion sounds. It's going to be clapping or snapping, head, stomach, stomping, patting, lap, whatever it is. So each one of these is going to be a different body percussion. And then we're going to transfer that to non-tuned percussion instruments, shakers, drums, uh, cowbell, all those kind of instruments. We're going, again, using good pedagogy from simple, which is sim saying the words, to complex. And at the point where they can no longer be successful, I stop and I back up a little bit to catch them up. It's important that you move from simple to complex so that at those points when they stumble, you know when to back up. If you start at the complex, they probably will not succeed. And that's not good for the children. So simple, just saying the words, and then moving on to a more complex task. Eventually, probably not this week, probably not next week, but maybe in two or three weeks, using the same poem, we can get to tune percussion instruments using a pentatonic scale. Now, this week, we probably might just get into non-tuned percussion but we will probably stay with body percussion. The thing I want the children to do is take what I'm giving them here and make up their own body percussion. It's theme and variations. Good pedagogy is theme and variations. My theme is highlighting the rhythm of these certain words, and this again is an ORF lesson, and the variation is how many different ways can we put body percussion together to highlight these words. What I'm doing is conning them into practicing without making it seem terrible. We want them to be happy, so when you give them the reign to create within specified guidelines, which is one of the texts, then you can be successful and help the children out. So, uh, that's basically the plan for fourth grade and for 
uh, fifth grade. Fourth and fifth grade will use the same poem, and we will see how developmentally one class may be ahead or behind the other, or they may be identical. The same lesson will not be the same way for every class because each class essentially is different, which makes perfectly good sense. So, we say the poem and we highlight the words in black and eventually we will move it to a more uh, tuned percussion instrument lesson. 